The concept of e-commerce has revolutionized the fashion industry. Not only can you shop from the convenience of your homes, but you can ensure that your favorite brands still find a way into your wardrobe. And fashion brands and retailers are arming themselves with new technology platforms to keep pace with more demanding consumers and stay ahead of the competition. So in this episode of Tech It Out, we'll be exploring the perfect amalgamation between tech and fashion. And how it's all set to change the world of apparels. Alright, time to kick off this week's episode and I'm super excited today because for the very first time on Tech It Out, we get to do an episode where I get to do all the explaining and Sahil has no other option but to sit and listen to me like a bimbo. Oh, I don't know. I think I could get used to being a bimbo. You totally should. You'll make a guy really happy. <sighs> One can only hope, right? Uh, but seriously, uh, I know that you are, of course, a massive shopaholic. So this is your territory. So, you know, by all means, just seriously, take it away. Seriously, you know nothing about me. I'm, not sh I'm no shopaholic, Sahil, but I'm a great believer of retail therapy who expects content to be at easy access with no physical limitations. Yeah, and I guess that's where e-commerce comes in, where, you know, you or I, whatever we want, is literally at our fingertips. Absolutely. And, you know, when I look at things and the way they've evolved in the fashion e-commerce space, I can't help but feel confident about future progress, especially in India, where so many brands are doing such tremendous work in this area. That's absolutely right. And one such brand is Postfold, which is addressing a critical problem that many working professionals across India face and that's the need to find appropriate and convenient clothing through the working days. As an online fashion store for men and women, Postfold is the only e-retail brand in India that's working towards providing a solution for this day-to-day -day requirement. Here's their story. Fashion to me is an, is an art and a science which keeps evol evol evolving every day and I would say even every minute. Fashion means to me, it means comfort, it means there's a way to express one, someone and I feel like the most important part of fashion is something that makes an individual feel good about themselves. So in November 2015, uh, we started we started Postfold. Uh, six months before that, we were, we met for uh, dinner together, and we were just discussing about you know catching up. And uh, we were like you know Ashish, I told him that Ashish, you know I've been trying to get something for myself to wear to work, which is in my budget and is also the right fit and the right quality and you know, looks luxury quality. We realized we both of us faced that common problem in India that we couldn't find really high quality clothes at an affordable price. And the next thing we knew, we were sitting with a master G trying to learn how to measure garments and what, what, what would work, what, to, what do we not find here. Postfold, the name, uh, means post the once you wear the garment on you and you make the last adjustment or the, the last twitch or tweak, uh, post that the story of the day, of, of your day begins. So post fold. The gap we are trying to fill is getting the right fit, the right quality at an affordable price. Um, and also the versatility of clothing. The price aspect, right? If you're going to bring out the best quality, the best craftsmanship, it also means that it's going to cost a little more. So we'll, I, will, I will never say that our, we, are, we are the cheapest product in the market, but I can guarantee tell you that it is the highest quality and it, it, the lowest price you will ever find it in that quality. So, uh, you know, when it comes to uh, launching our products, they have to be the latest trend, the best quality and produce ethically. 
And to blur the line between all of, all, all of those three, the first thing that we did was eliminate the middlemen. We have eliminated a lot of middlemen from our uh, product development cycle. A lot of, a lot of uh, brands would probably you know, go to a factory and say, we want this and you do the sourcing. What we do is we do all of the sourcing on our own and, the only, and you know, we work with factories to build a quality product. See, e-commerce, uh, if we speak the number side, currently at 33 billion uh, in India and expected to touch 100 to 150 billion by 2020, that really uh, brings a spark in us that there is potential in the e-commerce market. And also it's uh, the convenience that it brings to the end customer. Convenience in ordering at his uh, fingertips, receiving the order at his doorstep. For Postful, the brand that we're trying to build, technology is the most important part, uh, one of the most important part of it. Uh, the reason being that for the brand, for as I said before, we are trying to uh, make a brand for, for uh, professionals, young professionals that move at the pace. It is it is young people who are trying to make their make their career. They don't have the time. A lot of them are putting almost 12 hours a day in in their work or more, uh, and they're young, motivated. And you know, a lot of times you don't have the time to actually go out and shop. And so the ease of convenience plays a huge role into it. See, what, what we see currently is that 70% uh, of our traffic is via the mobile. So we are definitely trying to optimize and make our user experience uh, and improving our user experience on our mobile website but we feel as our user base keeps on growing we do see a potential in the mobile app so uh, since we started i would say uh, year over year uh, we have grown uh, at a fast pace of uh, 60 to 70 percent but yes these are initial days but we do see uh, we, we do see ourselves on the growth path During our research, we found out about this cotton that was grown in the US called Supima cotton. And Supima cotton, cotton we realized, is one of the finest quality cottons in the world. Only 3% of the world's cotton is actually worthy of being called Supima cotton because it's only grown in that certain uh, area. So we decided we have to, you know, if quality is going to be our uh, motto, we need to bring this here. Uh, I would say that if you have an idea and if you have, if you believe in yourself, just don't uh, stop anything. Nothing should stop you from going ahead and uh, forming your company and executing your idea. With the with the uh, risk of sounding like a, any self-help book, uh, I think the most important thing, being an entrepreneur, is you know the persistence. Uh, a lot of times there, there will be uh, times when you know you go through this graph where you know you're feeling really good about what you're doing and then the next day you will feel that am I doing the right thing is this is this where I want to be but I think going through that uh, demon of you know don't uh, that this is not the right path to be in I think that that's enjoying the journey and you know being true to your idea and true to your uh, work is something that I think we, we should always keep in mind. All right, so I'm now to take a very quick break on Tech It Out, or should I say a very fashionable break? See what I did there? Yes, I did. You said fashionable because we're doing a fashion special. So clever. Sahil, just, just think about what will you do without my sense of humor. Like laugh a little bit, ease it all out, and think about what will you do without my sense of humor. Listen, do you think should I do stand up? I think uh, you shouldn't quit your day job, whatever that might be. Hey Sahil, knock knock. No, we're not doing that. Then no. sometimes, please, no. sometimes play no, along. Just, sometimes, no, sometimes. Just, just take a break, please. No sense of humor this man has. Welcome back.
back. You're watching a fashion special here on Tech It Out. You know, fashion, like any other art, often has long-term trends that is driven by technology. New materials merge with the old and new needs drive new innovation as fashion evolves rapidly. Today's trends will determine the wearables of tomorrow. So up next, we explore the high-tech fashion of the present and the future. You might still believe in the Saturday tradition of driving down to the mall, try some clothes on, shop while sipping on your Starbucks. Do you still drive down to the nearest mall to get your hands on the latest sale? Believe us when we say this, that times are a-changing. Technology has caught up with us humans and slowly creeped its way into every nook and cranny of our lives. Managed to even completely transform some things while it was at it. As technology gave the world of fashion a makeover, we got a makeover too. Fashion blogging became a popular profession and in no time we were posting OOTDs on Instagram whenever we could. Pick up your phones and count the number of shopping apps you've downloaded. We are asking digital stylists what to wear and renting clothes for a day. Because of course, even after owning a closet full of clothes, you still have nothing to wear for Rahul's wedding. When Instagram has become synonymous to fashion and fashionistas, why shouldn't they make it their digital runway? That too straight from the comfort of their homes or studios. Masaba Gupta and Misha Nonu have already caught on by putting up their first Instagram-only shows which have actually helped them in reaching a wider audience than a traditional fashion show. Hi. And new media platforms like Facebook Live and 360-degree virtual reality videos are giving designers more reasons to go digital. Quite like other industries, 3D printing is seemingly becoming a boon for the fashion world too. The ease with which 3D printing is catering to our needs, fashion designers are embracing this new technology with arms wide open. Fashion designers are now creating complex designs in easier ways and lesser time, making their lives much more simpler. 3D printers offer easy customizations, giving fashion makers the freedom to create more and explore their art form further. Well, it doesn't just stop at the fashion designers. Consumers and fashion lovers are also at it by shining bright everywhere they go, in everything they do. Technology almost invisibly lets us try on and buy clothes. The advancement in artificial intelligence is making it easier for users to find anything they see in the real world online. Visual search in the fashion world is going mainstream and consumers are happy with the ease they are able to find things of their interest in a jiffy. Companies like Slice and Cortexica are enabling retailers to integrate visual search into their platforms. Indian e-commerce stores like Yepme and Karya have already integrated the ability to search with the help of images. And most importantly, Pinterest also has a similar feature for users to find things easily. Visual search might help you in locating everything online, but is it important to buy everything that you like? Now we are not asking you to not listen to your heart. Follow your heart, listen to its music and do everything you like. But why buy everything when you can rent them at much lower prices? Because you deserve to shine the brightest everywhere you go. Tapping on the online boom, rental services like Stage 3 and Flyrobe in India are coming to your easy reach with brands ranging from affordable to designer brands. Now whether it's your best friend's wedding or someone's housewarming party, you'll always have something to wear. Technology is taking the fashion world to new heights and we really can't wait to see what next is in store for all of us.
You know what the great thing about clothes is, about, you know, from the fact that they protect your bodies? They're also a great way to express who you are. But that being said, those same clothes can be extremely harmful to the environment. And fashion is evolving at a rapid rate, naturally speeding up the process of manufacturing clothes, which will unfortunately have a direct impact on the planet. But it's not all bad news. Thanks to the advancement in science and technology, a lot of initiatives are being taken to reduce our carbon footprint. From biodegradable materials to silkworms, we show you how tech is making fashion a little more sustainable. Avenue uses technology to render solid solutions to address the increasing problem of textile waste. By recycling old and discarded garments, Avenue breaks down the usage of virgin resources and generates zero waste, bringing us one step closer to a waste-free future. Avenue's patent-pending technology creates a regenerative supply of high-quality and bio-based fiber through the renewal of cotton garment waste. Basically, your wasted and worn-out piece of cloth is a forever Avenue. Polyester is the most used textile in the world, a non-renewable resource derived from petroleum. But the hard-hitting reality here is that more than 60% of the world's textile is either polyester or other petroleum extracted materials. Now how both thread plays a role here is that they work towards the engineering of silk and make sure that the chemistry of their fiber is exactly the same as in the naturally occurring silk produced by spiders or silkworms. They make fibers from protein using the same process that is used to make cheese. Rest assured, because all in all, it's spider and worm free. Bionic Yarn is a product by Return Textiles, a textile company that focuses on making materials out of waste. Now the waste material that they weave out their fabric from is none other than the boss of all the super hazardous wastes on our planet, plastic. We say it is the smartest way of investing in making our environment better. And guess who is the brand ambassador and also an investor in this amazing project? The very, very happy man, Pharrell Williams. Now save the planet and go get yourself all that plastic. The current way of dyeing fabric can use up to 75 gallons of water just to dye a pound of fabric. Now imagine all your polyester is dyed without a single drop of water. Yes, that's exactly what Dyco does. The world's first water-free and processed chemical-free dyeing solution. The company uses next-gen production machines called the Diox 4 to dye the clothes without wasting or using water but instead use carbon dioxide. From no waste water treatments to less energy consumption, the machine makes the entire process a lot more faster and earth-friendly. Now our next company sustainably sources and produces 100% rubber and is also on its way to making sustainable neoprene a reality for the fashion industry. They produce and process with recycled water supplies that aids in cutting down water consumption and wastage. Ulex has a zero waste production process where they use every last bit of the plant and the biomass left after the extraction can be used in cogeneration plants. Ulex's ultimate goal is to reduce and eliminate dependency of petroleum forever. Well, that's it for our fashion special on Tech It Out, but don't go anywhere. There's a lot more technology action on the other side. Stay tuned. By the way, do you like what I'm wearing? This ensemble that... Denim uh, and denim. denim. It was quite I'm, I, think I, I think I'm missing a cowboy hat and we're set for Brokeback Mountain no, no, Park. No, 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 no. Let me complete, Sahil. Denim and denim was a trend uh, a 90s, couple of years ago. Oh, you're very 2000 and late. Then I should bring trend. my moustache back, the one I had. I think it'll go really well with that. That would really go well with a cowboy hat and perhaps new shoes, cowboy right. boots, to okay. be precise. Hee-haw, let's take a break.
Welcome back, you're watching Tech It Out and now it's time for our review segment and this week we have something a little bit special. This is the new Fujifilm Instax Mini 9 and I have to admit that this goes very nicely with my outfit. I just just, just noticed. Right? Yeah. yeah so That's perhaps the only fashionable thing about you today, sir. Thanks. I don't know. I like this. It's, it's, it's pretty cool though, isn't it? I mean, look, this is one of those... Uh, you know, old style cameras yeah. where you click the photo. It also looks photo. a little bit like a Barbie camera. But it, it does, it has no that, offense. It does have that toy appeal to it. And some people like that, some people don't. Uh, but yeah, so this is how it works. I think you probably know how it works. You just, you know, face it towards the person and then you... Aim and shoot. And it's not working. Uh, okay, so we're going to review this right here. This does not work. It's a very bad camera. Not a good job, Fujifilm. Not Perhaps impressed. Perhaps you don't know how to click a photograph oh, with it. okay. Okay, sorry, premature. It, it works. And? Straight in my face, all of that flash, did you see? Now you just, you know, yeah, have to shake yeah. it and then it develops. And that is, I think, what is really cool about this, right? I mean, it brings back those memories, you know, where you don't have to now, you know, you can't just take a smartphone and snap a photo and upload it to uh, Instagram. You have to basically shake it and wait yeah. for it to develop. develop. Something tangible about, you know, holding Absolutely. that in your hand, right? Absolutely. Something, something nice, something nostalgic. Has it come out yet? The, the issue is it will take a little bit more. I hope this doesn't come out because it, it looks like a horrendous photograph, Sahil. But I don't know. I think we the have to give it the to background, the... the background looks nice. Oh, that's what you were aiming yeah, at? Yeah, that's what I was aiming at. I mean, the foreground is a little bit mm, meh at best. But maybe, you know, Trishala, who is reviewing this, will do a better job. Hopefully. And, you know, you can hold it as a gift for you. Oh, okay. thank you. You'll put it on your wall, nice background. So, Trishala will be reviewing this and telling us what she thought about this. Is it just a gimmick or is there still space for nostalgia in the Instagram age? Take a look. In the age of Instagram, we all love clicking sharp and clear images on our smartphones or digital cameras. We can click as many pictures as we want without having to worry about the price of printing. But that's not the case with the new Instax Mini 9. They've decided to turn the clocks back to remind us of a simpler time. The times where photography was more about capturing memories and not about getting the most likes. In many ways, the Fujifilm Instax Mini 9 looks very similar to its predecessor, the Mini 8 and it resembles a big kid's toy from its matte plastic finish, chunky lens and big buttons. Now it's small in size but not exactly pocket friendly, although it's light enough to throw into a bag without any trouble. Around the back is where you'll find compartments for film and the battery. Yes, it takes batteries, two AA1s to be precise. This is an analog camera in every way. Best of all, it comes in five new colors, flamingo pink, lime green, cobalt blue, smoky white and ice blue. They all look super trendy and will help you add a little bit of color in your life. The Fuji Instax 9 has the same exposure system as the 8. You can choose from different exposure levels by adjusting the dial around the lens and the camera will light up the one it thinks you should use. If you ask me, this is perhaps the biggest issue with Mini 9. I mean, I don't understand how the camera can not automatically select what setting it thinks is the best without me putting an additional input. Now, I have handled instant cameras before, but people who are picking up the Instax Mini 9 for the first time might not know how to switch between the settings accordingly. Uh, so this was a problem with Instax 8 and is still a problem now. For the most part, image quality is substandard. Pictures taken in daylight were a bit overexposed, resulting in almost washed out details. So much so that you end up looking like a ghost in most of them. Images clicked indoors were far better, but at times did appear a bit bloody. But look, this camera isn't about taking breathtaking pictures, nor is it about clicking anything specific. It's more about clicking a specific moment. You know, like an old record, where the music might not sound perfect, but it'll still make you smile.
Now, Fuji Film already has an existing range of instant mini cameras, but what sets the Instax Mini 9 apart from the lot is that it comes with a selfie mirror, which the company claims will help you find the best angle for the perfect selfie. Now, I had my doubts that a mirror would be of any help at all, but it works at advertised if you hold out the camera at arm's length. Now, another new feature that this cute camera carries is the high key mode, which lets you click an intentionally overexposed image for a brighter look. This feature will come in handy when taking pictures in low light as it sets the flash at its maximum intensity when in a low light environment. Now the image quality is so-so, there's definitely room for improvement in the usability and it won't really fit my pocket. So why do I still like the Instax Mini 9? Well, mostly because it's a lovable camera that's been designed for fun. So if you want to click an iPhone-like image, then buy an iPhone. But if you fancy a hit of nostalgia and a pinch of Polaroid, then the Instax Mini 9 is worth a try. Well, that's it for this episode of Tech It Out. We really hope you enjoyed the show. Keep writing to us on our social media platforms. Tell us what you like, what you dislike. We love hearing from you. We'll see you same time next week. Thank you for watching.